In this video, we demonstrate using Flurinder's command line options for movie export. From Flurinder's execute folder, select open command window here in the context menu to launch the command line tool. In the command line tool, we can type flurinder.exe to launch Flurinder. Flurinder supports a series of command line options. To view a list of the available options, type flurinder.exe-usage. The command line options are output in the command line tool. The options include starting Flurinder in benchmark mode, full screen mode, and so on. Here, we look at how to load files and export movies using the command line options. To launch Flurinder and load a file, type the file name including its full path after the flurinder.exe command. Here, we browse to the example file and copy its path. Then, we paste the path into the command line tool. Type the file name after its path. Make sure the name is spelled correctly. You may also use the tab key to autocomplete unique file names. Press the Enter key to launch Flurinder. We see that the specified file is loaded into Flurinder automatically. Multiple files can be loaded when Flurinder starts. Just type the file names one after another in the command line tool. Make sure the path and file name for each file are typed correctly. Here, we load three channels from one scan saved in the same file folder. Use paste and tab to input the file names. Press the Enter key to launch Flurinder. We see that three channels have been loaded into Flurinder correctly. To export a movie after launching Flurinder, we use the Dash Movie option, or M for short. Type the movie file name after the M option. Make sure the path to the movie file exists. Here, we save a test movie file in the same folder as the files to be loaded. For a quick time movie format, a bitrate can be specified using the command line option, dash bitrate, or BR for short. Type a number after the BR option. Larger numbers mean higher quality but larger file size. We see that Flurinder immediately starts exporting a movie after its launch and file loading. We can go to the file folder to look at the movie file. Also notice that TIFF sequence output is also supported. There are two options for LCW compression and alpha channel export. This method only supports movie rendering with default settings. For customized movie export at start, we need to first create a project with detailed settings. Here, we load the three example channels and create a keyframe animation. We zoom in and rotate the view at the same time. This process takes about two seconds. Then, we rotate back by resetting the rotation angles. Finally, we zoom out by resetting the zoom ratio. After previewing the animation briefly, we save current as a project. The test project file is saved in the same folder as the files. Now, from the command line, we can type the project file name instead of the data file names. This will allow Flurinder to open the project right after launching. We type the test project file by copying its path. Use tab to auto-complete the file name when the file name is unique. Then, type the command line options for movie export. We can type the same test movie name to overwrite it.
and we use the same bit rate again for a high quality rendering. When we execute the command, we launch Florender, load the project with animation settings, and the movie starts playing. Wait until the movie finishes exporting. We go to the Movie Export folder and check the movie. Using the command line options, multiple files and projects can be processed for movie export. We create a text file and rename it to a batch file. The batch file has the suffix bat. We can edit the batch file just like a text file. In the batch file, we can add command lines one after another. Here, we load two separate datasets and export one movie for each. The commands in the batch file look the same as in the command line tool. The first dataset contains the three channels that we just demonstrated. We just export the movie using the default settings. The second file is a single TIFF containing three channels. We will be using the default movie export as well. When we finish editing the batch file, save it and double click the file to run it. It exports movies in consecutive order. When the first movie finishes exporting, we close Florender to allow the execution of the next command line. Florender loads the second dataset and starts movie exporting again. When both movies are exported, we can go to the folder to check the movie files. In conclusion, the command line options in Florender allow easier movie exporting for multiple datasets.